Hey everybody, this is Dream, and today I'm going to be reviewing Space Otter Charlie. Space Ar Otter Charlie is developed by Wayward Distractions and published by the Quantum Astrophysics Guild. Uh, so uh, this game comes out on March 18th of 2021. So what is Space Otter Charlie? Well, it is a puzzle adventure game uh, where you uh, can you play as a space otter uh, in a world where humans have left and the animals are left, but Earth is inhospitable, so they have to uh, build a spaceship in order to uh, get away. Um, and then you actually are um, searching through space uh, and going to space stations and battling robots that have taken those space stations over. Um, in this, you're going to be flying around in zero gravity, which is actually a really cool uh, thing. And you're also going to be having some platforming aspects to the game uh, when it comes to that. And you're going to be trying to figure out how to get through all the different areas by solving the little puzzles and also uh, just bashing the enemies in the head uh, and shooting them with your guns and things of that nature. Um, there's lots of different types of guns too, which definitely makes this game kind of unique in the aspect that each level you're gonna have to like find upgrades and figure out how to get qu the type of gun you need in order to uh, uh, progress uh, through the level. Um, for instance, in some levels you're gonna have um, a gun that you're gonna be able to bounce bullets off of walls, and then in some levels you, you won't, and so uh, like that won't be necessary. And so you want to be able to you want to be using the guns that are gonna make sense for that level and to solve the puzzles in that level and things. Um, you also have suits that are going to help you uh, differentiate based on what they can, what kind of weapons and things you can use, and how you uh, uh, progress through the zero G area of the game areas. Excuse me. Um, and there's lots of upgrades in the game as well as some, as well as some story related uh, lore that you can uh, pick up as you if, as you uh, look at all the areas in the game. Um, there also is a multiplayer aspect of this game. Uh, I haven't really dove too much into that, but uh, I can see that that would be quite a bit of fun. The way that the uh, the way that all the different possibilities when it comes to building a character up would be. Um, uh, let's see here. So basically, as you progress through the game, you're going to find new uh, levels and different types of things you're going to have to do in order to progress. And I'll, there's also going to be some different types of enemies that you're going to uh, find as you progress and the f and also final bosses. I do feel like that the game isn't too terribly difficult. Uh, it seems almost like it was designed it's designed more for you know pretty much anybody will pick it up and play which isn't necessarily a bad thing uh, because it is just it's just a lot of silly fun. I mean you're a space otter. You're an otter who has guns shooting at, a at, at robot <laughs> things on space stations. I mean I could see this uh, being something that you're just going to laugh a lot at while you play it. Uh, one of the guns I actually like quite a bit in the game is that there's like this America gun which shoots out <laughs> multiple lasers that are red, white, and blue. I found that to be pretty humorous. Uh, so you can tell that the developers had a nice little sense of humor with the uh, um, when making this game. Uh, I mean, just the story itself is is silly. You know, you're like you said, you're just a little otter who's trying to find a new planet to live on after humans had already uh, left uh, <laughs> thing. Um, at any rate, uh, we don't actually have a price for the game yet, so I can't really give you that. But I'm going to give this game an 8 out of 10 because it's it's just, it's just a nice little combination of puzzle, platforming, and just adventure. And it's got a fun little story that I found amusing, even though I typically don't like like cheesy stories this is not too cheesy it's actually kind of funny so i liked the story overall and uh as far as the the way the game works i mean aside from uh, the, well all right so the zero g it takes a little bit of time getting used to i actually played a lot of elite dangerous so that actually kind of helps uh with this game uh like me playing that helps me uh, like it, i picked it up knowing how that feels in a game that's done well and it definitely leads to me being able to play this game much faster when it comes to figuring out or getting used to the feel of your character like 
uh, you know, maneuvering guns in such a way and things of that nature while you're kind of floating through areas. Um, and also using, like, you know, firing in order to push yourself forward and things of that nature. So, overall, I definitely think I had a little bit of an advantage from playing other games that are that have zero G aspects to their games. Uh, but uh, it's not too difficult to pick up in this game, and I don't think you'll... I think most people will be able to pick it up relatively easily. Um, the only issue that I could uh, that I could find in the game that I was a little irritated with was uh, sometimes when you're trying to launch off of like a platform that you're sitting on and you aim, sometimes it, it seems like it takes two uh, inputs to do that instead of one, where in other times it only takes one. And I actually got myself killed a couple times because I kind of didn't uh, focus hard enough to make sure that I didn't need to double tap it. And I don't know if that's his input lag or if it was, if it's intended to be that way. But it's not a major issue, like, it just, I mean, you just have to be, you know, kind of on your toes a little bit about that. But it wasn't a major issue. Overall, it's a, it's just a thoroughly enjoyable game. And despite the fact that I died a couple times, the checkpoint thing is also very generous and you're getting checkpoints pretty much any time the game saves which is pretty often so you're never going to have to go too far back in the area if you die and so you're you, you know the game is kind of built to make sure that you continue to progress and things of that nature and so uh overall that from that perspective it's it's definitely not bad um as for the achievements in the game well they're not going to be doable in you know 30 minutes or something but uh, everything is mostly doable when it comes to just playing the game naturally. Uh, I've noticed that a lot of achievements, I was like, I wonder, like when I read the achievement list, I was like, I wonder how hard that achievement's going to be. And then I would just randomly get them because it's kind of like each achievement is kind of built into things you need to do in the game. And so it's just going to, they're going to come naturally, I think. Uh, the only achievements that, are, that I haven't really uh, looked at too much are the multiplayer ones, but they're just for playing games. So, um... No, no real requirements there from that perspective, other than playing them. So it's not going to be a super fast completion, but it's going to be a completion that you'll have fun doing. And it's definitely doable. And so it's, you know, it's a fun little game. Um, that's pretty much all I have to say about this one. Uh, definitely uh, recommend it. Uh, like I said, I don't have a price for it yet. And it doesn't have a price on Steam yet either, so I can't really give you a good idea about what the price might be. Uh, I think if it's anything other than under twenty dollars i think that's probably pretty decent for what it is it's a pretty well-made game uh i've played a couple other games uh uh from the quantum astrophysics guild uh and i've i have to say i've liked a lot of their games in the past so i'm definitely not surprised that i uh, like this one as well uh, i think one of the games i was thinking of was uh maybe tumblestone uh and also uh the bridge uh they've had a pretty they've had some decent little games uh that they've developed and published over the years and then wayward distractions uh they're new to xbox so i haven't really uh seen their games before but uh, i definitely uh definitely think this one's something to recommend so uh if you do pick it up uh, just let us know what you think about it and have a nice day